All right, we got places to we got places to go, Mona. We got one day off to do whatever we want, and we're gonna spend it at at the arcade. <laughs> yeah. Hey there, guys. Luigi Mans here. Welcome back to an episode of uh, Persona 5 Royal. Last time, oh hey look, it's the crane game. We can get a Lexi doll. Oh boy, this is such a weird weird doll, but I can't wait to get one. This is also a reference. Because that's how sh that's what shadows used to be in Persona 4 and earlier. Because it wasn't always the the, the personas that we're getting. It was it was just random creatures wearing specific things. You get it? Anyway, I'm gonna spend a couple hundred yen on this. Oh, oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. It's so small, though. It's a perfect little charm for my phone. Nice yeah, Lexi doll. Yeah. All right, hey, Shinya, you want to hang out today? You feel better about yesterday? Yeah, we're going to get... Yeah, I got a gift for you, bud. Here. Wait, what? Another calling card? Hane Oda. Huh? My mom? The Phantom Thieves are targeting my mom? So she is bad after all. Is that what you think? Yeah. My mom used to be nice, but right now I think she's one of the bad guys. To be honest, I thought that for a while now. Mom. Do you think they'll be able to change her heart? They'll actually be able to change her heart? Yeah, I believe in them, dude. They're the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They are the Phantom Thieves, after all. So. Hey. Someone has to give this to my mom, right? Okay, I'll do it. Way to step up. I, it is kind of my fault that my mom got this way. She had to deal with a lot, raising me on her own. She had to get stronger, because I was so weak. But, but that's not an, an excuse to hurt the people around her. She, she fights with everyone about everything, and ends up getting hurt. At this rate, my mom's gonna break. I want my mom to realize that she doesn't have to be strong for me anymore. She won't listen to me when I tell her that. That's why I want to help the Phantom Thieves. I want to stop my mom. Then let's save her together. Sato-san. Yeah. Okay, I'll give her the calling card. She's my mom, after all. I really want to help her. <laughs> the next time you see the Phantom Thieves, please tell them I said thank you. And thanks for talking to them about this, Sato-san. I'm going to teach you my best, strongest move. What's your strongest move? Oh, hell yeah. Electric slug? Hell yeah. We get more damage when we do bullet hail. All right. Oh, I guess it's late. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. Don't tell anyone you saw me crying earlier, okay? <laughs> Hooray, more points to kindness. Just what I needed. Later. All right, about another breakdown. This time as a company exec. Again, ever since the Kuma, there have been so many. Fiend of these are going way too far. Are they getting carried away by their popularity? Are the police going to do anything about this? I am back. God damn it! People are acting like we're the ones who kill them! I have even heard them say we are assassins hired to deal with psychotic breakdown victims. Ugh, that's obviously not what we're trying to do. This must be part of the plan to sh shift the blame onto the Phantom Thieves. After all, the true culprit is the one killing the people on, the, on, on that ranking list. That's BS. 
But that is the truth for the general public at the moment. Man, this culprit guy really won't let up. I don't remember ever doing anything that makes someone hate us this much. He used my father as well. I cannot fathom what his motives may be. We will just have to capture and interrogate him. But before that, we need to change my sister's heart. That's our first step towards stopping him. I must agree. The true culprit will be caught, but before that we must deal with Saison. If ranking is being taken into consideration, perhaps I will be targeted too. Just kidding. Mm. There's the 30, mini, 30 million yen bounty on the Phantom Thieves. How would you use all that money? Probably relax at some luxury resort, then start my own business with the rest of the money. Wait, we don't have time for this. What's our strategy for the clients we're meeting tomorrow? <sighs> Back to lame old reality. <laughs> Funny, I say that too. All right, let me hang. Let me redecorate my room a bit because we got some stuff like this Lexi doll. Its proportions are kind of messed up. Hard to say whether it's cute or ugly. It's a mascot, dude. All right, uh, and we already got Wanakun up there, right? And I think that's actually it. <laughs> oh wait, 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 hold on. There's a swan boat from Hawaii. Yeah, there you go. That's a swan boat in Inokashira Park, right? Maybe me and Lady On can go someday. <laughs> All right, now now we're fine. All right. All right. Uh, we're gonna hang out with Chihaya today. Hopefully, I don't. God, I've been playing through so much on a different file that I don't remember what I have or haven't done or what I goofed and haven't goofed. So I hope I haven't goofed. Uh, let's do a verification test. Okay, we're, we are getting it. Okay, cool. Let's hang out with him. Oh, yeah, we're dealing with the ADP, right? <sighs> so, the chairman's pushing me as hard as ever to sell those fake stones. I've been trying to use this as an opportunity to investigate into the ADP seminar so I can expose him. But the d deeper I dig, the scarier everything becomes. How so? Um... The ADP apparently doesn't profit very much from the sales of the Holy Stones. It's nothing more than a front. Most of their revenue actually comes from the seminars. There, they gave their patrons some sort of mind-altering drug. After which, they are encouraged to donate their life savings to the benefit of the ADP. People have even gone missing after seminars. Families have been torn apart by this madness. And I... I was part of it all. By selling these fraudulent stones, I was in direct support of their horrible actions. I know this is a makeup for what I've done, but I want to help the others come to their senses. Barely anyone within the ADP will talk to me, though, and those who do won't actually hear me out. What should I do, Sato-san? These people are all heading down the path toward a great ruin. There has to be some way I can deal with the chairman. Right. I'll just have to admit to everything that's been going on, even if I get dragged down, too. That's... The only way. Mm, yeah, we don't want her doing anything rash. Mm. I'm the only one who could stop him, right? Hey, uh, um, uh, and tell me his first name. Mm. Oh, the chairman? It's Yuichi Fukurai. Um. Why do you ask? Uh, just don't worry about it. Uh, oh. Hmm. How strange. Seems the card have changed some the cards have changed somehow. My future is in line with that of the trickster. What does that mean? Even so, my fate remains unchanged. I'm destined to stay a monster. Um... Hmm. Well, guess what we need to do? We need to beat up a psychic. I'll have to think on this for a while. Well, let's finish for today. Good night. Yeah, we want to take care of this little problem soon. Otherwise, haha, <laughs> we're in trouble. My. Good morning, Kazuma-kun. Mona-chan. Um. The Phantom Thieves are all over the newspapers and television. We're outlaws now. We have to clear our name. For my father, too. So I'd like to make some progress. Why don't we go into the palace? No, 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 no. 
Give me, give me nine more days. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry for rushing you. I'm just worried about Mako-chan. There's a lot of, to think about when the target's someone close to you. Anyway, I hope it goes well. Let's give this our all. Thank you, Haru, for understanding. You're going to continue to bug me. This country has been getting dangerous, and peace have been only uh, and peace had been our only redeeming feature. The fate of should target somewhere bigger, more global, not this tiny island country. Like, oh, I don't know, the casino city of Las Vegas or something. It was like a dream when I went there. <laughs> I might not look it, but I'm good at card games. Oh, do you play Yu-Gi-Oh? The four suits of cards all symbolize something. By the way, Mr. Sato, look at this. Huh, what? How about you? Clubs is a club, diamonds is a gem. So what does a spade represent? It may not look it, but it's a uh, sword. This is it. I can see why people think spear. Excellent. It, 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 shape wise, yes, it's a spear, but it's not a spear. Excellent. The spade is a sword. Almost looks like one of you squint, right? And the heart is the holy grail. The heart was originally drawn as a cup. They say the suits also represent classes of people. The rulers of the Holy Grail, the Holy Grail are clergymen. However, there are cards that belong to no class. In other words, they have no suit. No. Oh, wow, we're learning a lot about cards. Nice going. Wow, we. The only card without a suit is the Joker. Some theories say it originates from the Fool and Tarot decks. But no one knows where it actually where it really came from. However, both are trump cards that can bring about unexpected effects. How you use them is critical. Yeah. You heard her, Joker. Pretty good name if I do say so myself. Wish I'd given myself a cooler name. Eh, Mona's still cool. I wish he stayed in. I wish he stayed in. Un, un, at least stay until we graduate. The fan of these are students from our school, right? What? Who is it? I was seriously in love with Dr. Baruki. No point in going to the nurse, nurse's office now. Huh, people are actually sad that he's leaving, huh? I don't blame them. Uh, where am I hanging out? Oh, right, we're going to play darts. Hey, remember what I said earlier? About reading that thing that will help us out. Just yeah. J just as a precaution, though, we're just gonna save. Because it's very easy for me to goof this up. Still. And there's two people I specifically want to play. But if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then whatever. So we gotta get Haru and Akechi in this. And I hope Akechi shows up. Nope. Hey. But it's okay. That's why I saved. Hey. All right. I, I try to get a catchy in here, but God re-rolling so many times kills me. So we're just going to stick with Haru and that's fine. All right. So anyways, uh, hey, remember what I said about third and using your third eye yeah it, it this is this is an effect it, it, it slows down the reticle that that's all it does so again you can make more precise uh throws and junk and that that's still fine i i still goofed up because i was a dumb it's fine it's fine all right all right haru it's your turn my turn now Oh, look at you getting into triples. <laughs> Give it your all. All right. Let's try to get Haru as close to the end as I can get it to. Whoa, Whoa that's cool. 
<laughs> I said as close. I'm not, I'm not finishing it. Haha! <laughs> can't wait to screw this up. Um, hey, you can do this. I believe in you. Now. How should you throw? Uh crap. I forgot what's what's the best support. Like you're swinging an axe. I think that's Wait. wrong. Well, I guess I have to reload, don't I? And I have to reload! Son of a bitch! Sure went with elegant! With elegance, right? I see. Okay, okay. I think I think we I think we're good now. <laughs> I think we're good now. Okay, good. <laughs> Jesus. It's fine. All I care about is boosting Haru's uh, baton pass stat. All right. That's that's all that I care about. <laughs> Hooray. Too bad I can't do the same for Akechi. I have a favor to ask. Uh, I'm going to call it a day. Sorry. If Akechi was here, then yeah, maybe I, I would do more things, but not not today. That was so so much fun. That should do it for now. All right then. Ah, you're back. I am back. I gave a calling card to my mom. It was a little scary. Did she let the Phantom Thieves know? Thank you, Shinya. You've done my crossword! <laughs> God, I love it when when I walk up and then I don't see a crossword on my notes and then crosswords happen to line up. It's great. Uh, lined up at school festival. That's interesting. Uh, what's what's another name for uh, grilled meat skewers? Uh, apparently it is uh, yaki tora. Oh, I'm sorry, yakitori. All right, cool. Uh, what's this one? A summer, uh, summer kimono. Uh, that's that's uh, um, uh, yukata. All right, and lined up at school festivals. That stalls. You know, because we got we gotta have fun at these festivals. These simple shops are often created for school events by the students. All sorts of food and other products can be found in stalls. Stall staff must meet certain conditions to be permitted to set up shops, such as sending reports to the health office and maintaining proper safety standards. All right. I see. The nice. more you know. All right. Uh, how am I with personas? There's a reason why I say this. We're gonna hang out with a catchy, but there's a. Uh, God, without spoiling anything, there's a huge asterisk about this. It really, there, there really is a huge asterisk, and uh, mm, it's gonna. You know what? I'll risk it. I'll risk it. This is a risk that I'm willing to take. How's it going to catch you? You want to hang out? Hey. What? You want to hang out in Mementos? Hmm, sure. He wants the two of you to go to Mementos alone? Well, you guys are strong enough that you should be fine, but be ready for anything, I guess. Let's get going. Thank you. Then let's head to Shibuya. Kenji just wants to go with you, right? I'll, then I'll wait. I'll be waiting outside. Be careful. <laughs> I'll be dead. Well, this place should do nicely. So, why are we in mementos? This. Remember what I told you? If you ever won against me using my right hand, I'd take you on with everything I've got. I thought you met in pool! That wasn't enough to satisfy me. It's your own fault, though. Your insight allowing you to determine my dominant hand, your quick wit, and most of all, how fast you've grown. You've exceeded my expectations in every way. 
Thus, I've built up this urge to duel you, without holding anything back. All right, then fine, let's do this. Thank you for indulging my selfish request. No need for pleasantries at this point, correct? Let's go! <laughs> you won't be able to defeat me unless you actually fight with lethal intent. Now, show me your true skills. Sorry, sorry. It's just <laughs> the fucking Jamie costume. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Oh, that's too funny. Hey, anyways, it's a catchy. We're fighting him. That's why I said you gotta be a little bit prepared. Because he hits hard. Especially if you're not careful. Um. The unfortunate thing is that, you know, we already know his persona and his stats. So, like, it's. I think it, like, what? It resists blasts and curse skills, and it could dish out, um. Uh, and could dish out, um, God, what do you call it? Less skills. So I just need to pay attention who I have. Uh, I don't have anyone with curse. Actually, I don't think it resists curse skills, does it? We're about to find out. I mean, this is, this is a fight with a boss in, in quotes. I'm about to waste. Survey says, oh, you missed. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I block it, so I'm just gonna slice you with my knife. See, that's that's the neat thing about having Magatsu Izanagi. Uh, can't really do anything to me. So let's try this again. Let's do a Garudine, I guess. Uh, I don't like how hard you're hitting with uh, Megaton Raid, though. Okay, so ju judging by your pattern, you're gonna go to a to a to a bless attack. Yup. So he's going. I, I just noticed he's going in a pattern. All right. Uh, and then it will be physical next. I don't know why I use Masayo though. Nice. How fascinating. Nope. You're going Mega Dola. So you're fast? I am fast. Thank you for noticing. Get shocked. Persona. Yep, there we go. Get reflected back at you. Do you tell me? No. That's interesting. I mean, I, yes, I see your stats, but I, I don't know anything else other than that. Sorry, I, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, he's going to use curse next. Magatsui Zanagi. Actually, I had to think about this. Uh, you repel curse. We can do that. And then we'll use triple down. Hope, hope we can get a crit. Okay, you just miss. Alright, cool. Alright, and then you're gonna use bless, which I can bring out someone. You're strong, but I don't want to use you specifically. <laughs> yeah, screw it. We'll bring out. Uh, actually, what does uh, your weak suit? All right, we'll, we'll we'll bring back, bring back Magatsu Izanagi. Do the Garu dying. All right, and then you're just gonna use the uh, what do we call it, Megadola. <laughs> this was not expected. Oh, that's it. We hit the end. No wonder you're the leader of the Phantom Thieves. 
You've caught up to me on this front already, too. Well, are you satisfied? Of course not. But if we went any further, we'd both go beyond the point of no return, wouldn't we? In all honesty, I'd love to see just how far we can go. But we have an important mission coming up. Until that's finished, you're a vital ally to me. You're done here. Let's go. Once again, I've learned something new about you today. As allies fighting alongside one another, your strength is truly reassuring. In all honesty, it's to the point that I'd be relying on you in a pinch. Hmm. Feelings mutual. <laughs> you truly are well composed. I'm sorry I asked you to indulge me, but I do feel a bit better now. All right, rank eight. All right. By the way, about that duel. If we had fought to the end, do you see yourself winning? I mean, I definitely wouldn't lose. I had a feeling you'd say that. I'm going to be entirely honest with you. I hate you. Your deft handling of your unfortunate circumstances. Your uniqueness. Your ability to surpass me. All these irritate me. You're the one person I refuse to lose to. You really hate losing, don't you? Without a doubt. Even I was unaware that it was this severe. I'll let you have this win today. But next time, I will be victorious. Let this be my proof. Oh. Thanks for the glove. I understand what this symbolizes. He's challenging me to a duel. There's a tradition in the West to throw one's glove at their opponent when demanding a duel. Should the opponent accept the glove, the duel is also accepted. Hey, I don't want to ruin the tension or, or this, this touching scene, but this is very important, too. Please remember this. Yeah, I accept. Make certain that you never forget. I am the one who will defeat you. <sighs> Look at the time. Let's call it a day for now. I can read a book? Uh how about we read Oh god. Fish Pond Spotter. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, it, it's a mechanic that we never really touched and probably won't touch till later. Ichigaya, this is a train station, right? When you look at the photos, it looks like the station is in the fishing pond. This kind of place might not be everyone's cup of tea, but you can have your fun on your own. Well, I now learned a new location. There are a few fishing ponds in the city, but it seems that Ichigaya is the most famous one. I think... I think we could have unlocked this much earlier. I think one of our confidants will invite us to go over there. Probably Ryuji. But like since I haven't since I haven't been since I've been ignoring every confidant hangout, I, I guess this is like the earliest opportunity that I could just do one. But it, right. we'll we'll go there one day, one day soon. Oh, 
Class is starting. Are we getting free time too? Well, oh boy. What's going on? Well, uh, I guess what I'll do is that I'll read. Let's read another book. Oh. Uh, Gosh, I don't know. Let's read. Let's read. Um. Let's read Tokyo Shrines. I don't think that's the location we've unlocked yet. The Bible for Shrine Lovers. Magic Shrine, huh? Seems like a mystical place. It's a famous spiritual spot, well known for its walking paths. Why places like that seem nice? I bet you'd be able to relax if you do. If you took someone there with you. Oh. Ah, so you finished reading Tokyo Shrines? Apparently, the Meiji Shrine has its own train station. That's how popular that place is. Yep, right there. All right. Now we can go there. Also, since this is a shrine, we can do stuff around it. Again, we'll visit one day. Or maybe in between episodes, I don't know. Hey, why don't we try asking Futaba-chan to look into the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns? That's a great idea! Why didn't I think of that? Mm, I suppose Futaba's ability to process information is truly world-class after all. Damn, you're smart, Haru! I already tried. Did you find anything? I know so much now, it's hard to make heads or tails of it. Suspicious people appear, then they disappear. It's been like that over and over again. They are manipulating information to keep anyone from reaching the truth. Well, there's one thing I know for sure. Whoever we're, go whoever we're going against now is more dangerous than we can possibly imagine. <laughs> oh boy, we're, we're in trouble. Oh man, we've done a lot today. We learned a lot. Keji hates us. That's okay. We're rivals. That, that's how it's supposed to be. That's it for the episode!